Hello, my name is Mark and welcome to my Dice Tales. Uh, thank you for joining me. So today is a Dice Tale about Kill Team and we are playing a Rogue Trader mission, uh, Retrieve the Relic. And we're playing it on a normal set of Mechanus board. Uh, so, Rogue... Rogue uh, bleh. The mission is, there are four boxes which can maybe contain a relic, which will be very beneficial for our war efforts. And, uh, and we want the right people to get it for the right price, especially with the Rogue Traders who want to steal it and sell it for the right price. Uh, so, uh, the... What the idea is, if you get to a box, you can roll a d6. If you roll a 6, you find a relic. Uh, if you find the relic, you have to defend it until the end of the game. Uh, however, if you don't find find the relic, the next person that searches a box rolls a d6 and has plus 2 to it. Uh, and this continues until someone finds the box, or there's only one box remaining. Uh, so that's the mission. And as I say, it's on sex mechanics. We did roll environmental effects. Uh, nothing really came, I think it's hatches or something like that, which is... Your guy can sneak off the board and basically doesn't need to make a taken out roll if he gets taken out. And also it's a 150 point game with commanders. Uh, did we play, I don't think we played with elites because Star Striders can't take elites. So I think we uh, fudged that one. So just 150 points, a Rogue Trader mission from the Rogue Trader book, but on a normal kill team board. Uh, it's De Death Watch versus the Star Striders with a psychic commander, uh, sorry. The, the Death Watch of the Psychic Commander. So there's going to be a five minute hyperlapse. I'll see you on the other side.
Okay, so the five minutes high plot, so I hope you enjoyed the music. Uh, so turn one, uh, has he deployed and he got the initiative? He ran up and found found all the boxes and found all the rel relics. We sort of just deployed the boxes in a diamond shape. And that's the most equal. You can place them anywhere as long as they're not within five inches of each other. Uh, but in, I guess you don't know who's going to go first, so basically in the middle in a diamond shape. Seemed the most logical to do. Uh, so he found it with his frag cannon on the top north uh, west of the image that you're seeing. If you want to go, go back and sort of view it again, you can see that's where the majority of the action takes place. So sort of just below, below one of the walkways, or just behind one of the walkways in that northern sector of the board. Um, as, he'd, uh, as his frag cannon got that far up front, uh, I knew straight away, I basically got my leader has this brilliant uh, executioner shotgun. I uh, can use command points to make it do a mortal wound. And that went very successful for me. So he snuck up. I always had a voidsman in front just to take cybolts. And in the beginning of the first few turns, it was the Aximilian, my dog, taking a lot of cybolts and just taking flesh wounds, luckily. And my assault rolls were very, very poor. Literally everyone rolled a one to assault. So it was a very slow advancement for my Star Striders. Uh, obviously seeing the uh, the shiny dark armor of the Death Watch and thing, thinking, I don't want to go there. Uh, but we needed that relic, we needed the money, and uh, the leader pushed them forward, Elusha Vane. So Elusha Vane, Van der Gas, who has the invulnerability bubble, and the leader and a couple of voidsmen sort of went up the middle, straight uh, on a beeline towards the relic. And my assassin and dog and medic, they went on the south side of the board. Uh, however, because of their poor roles, they failed to intercept the commander who sort of then engaged my commander in the middle of the board, very close to the relic. He did disengage from the relic, and I saw that as my opportunity to try and keep him locked in combat. Um, however, his side bolts were very successful. He, I always tried to keep a voidsman uh, to, to suffer those, and I had a few lucky rounds, but when it counted on the final rounds, he broke away from combat. He took out my Elusha Vane. Uh, her, her regalia failed and her invul invulnerability but saves failed her. Uh, and as she went down, Voidsman Nietzsche lo also lots into combat with a Space Marine, pulled out his uh, pistol and just uh, blew the Space Marine away, which was very fantastic. Taking out a Space Marine with just the last pistol. That is pretty heroic. But after doing it, after your commander dies, whew, uh, he must have had a bit of anger built up in him after see seeing that, that tragedy. Uh, however, because Alusha, Le Alusha Vane fell, uh, it meant his commander could then get back to the relic box, turning it into a draw at that point, but the game continued on the dice roll. Uh, if, he, if, it, ugh, if it had been one turn less and he couldn't have done that move, um, I would have had the point. And also, something that stuck in my mind at the end of the game, my medic was sort of toing and throwing between my assassin and trying to be near Alusha Vane should she take a, uh, a flesh wound. And I think at one point she should have maybe tried to engage the commander because then he would have either had to waste his cybolt uh, on my medic or it, would, it wouldn't have been able to move because he would have been engaged. I've got a feeling because he wasn't engaged if I tried to charge him he could have fallen back onto the relic anyway. Uh, probably have to watch it, uh, my, my hyperlapse in slow-mo just to see what happened but it just happens just at sight behind some terrain. Uh, maybe try and get a better camera angle on that next time. Uh, my assassin was great, nice and cinematic, felt very uh, Obi-Wan versus Darth Vader as, as I took on his combat specialist with a slab shield. Uh, I failed to wound it completely, I think I forgot the plus one strength that my medic would have given my assassin. Might have been key, might have been key. Um, obviously you don't see my dice rolls in these, I can't catch a, a wide enough angle with the camera that I've got. Um, I'm working on maybe getting another camera to take, have dice rolls going on as well, but that may be some time coming. Um, so she, yeah, engaged, didn't fall at least. Um, she was there to the end, of the end of the battle, but it would have been nice to get her engaging the commander as well. It would have been nice for her to be faster, to maybe catch the commander out um, on that southern side of the board before he got into the middle and engaged my commander, so my commander could have maybe done a bit more of a wrecking ball on his less elite marines, uh, I guess is the way to look at it. Um, but yeah, great game, very two and throwing. It's definitely my, my favourite when I took out his frag cannon and I thought, oh, three three models left, this is doable. Uh, but his commander really shone, shone through and those side bolts, yes, that's what happened. When he fell back onto the relic, 
could have been a draw, but in his next psychic phase, two cybolts, so my Roshi Cannon guy uh, had, had exploded, as well as my other voidsman, and I had no one else uh, who could contest at that point. Uh, so, great game. Um, the next day, I went on to have some games with, again, in Rogue Trader, uh, and I took some Tyranids versus Death Watch, and I think I took my Star Strides out again. Did I take my Star Striders out? Yes, I took my Star Striders out again versus Death Watch. And we played some great missions where you're dragging around boxes and you have to get them into your deployment zone. That was pretty fun. Uh, and I managed to eke out a win on that one because uh, I outsped the uh, Death Watch as I managed to drag the boxes in. And he just couldn't contest one of the boxes on the, on the final turn. Uh, and that, that was a great and very tense game as well. So really, really loving Kill Team at the moment. Uh, I hope you're enjoying it too. Let me know what you're playing. Uh, let me know some memorable cinematic moments. Uh, from your games, uh, yeah, yeah. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I believe I've seen quite a lot of um, tournaments coming up this summer uh, in various places. I don't think I'm able to get to any uh, that I've seen so far, but there's been a flock of players at the Forge, um, which is near the Trafford Centre in Manchester. So I'm looking forward to a game there tonight, and I think we might have about six or seven players signing up, so that'll be interesting. Uh, some new blood, some new armies to face. I know I've seen Dakari, I think I've seen Elder, uh, Tau. So, yeah, there's more fun on Kill Teams come. Thank you for watching.